Hello friends, in this video we'll talk about chain and anti-chain with examples. Welcome back friends, a very simple concept we're going to discuss in this particular video and that is what chain and anti-chain and we're going to discuss this with the help of example. So let us discuss what exactly chain and anti-chain are. We are assuming a post set a comma less than equal to here a is a can be any other any set and this less than equal to is your general representation of a post set. It can be any other symbol like equal to divisibility anything it just a general representation. So this is the way a post set is represented or it is also called partially order set. Now what do you mean by chain? First of all it has to be a subset of a comma less than equal to that means a subset of this post set in which every two elements are related then it is called chain. If every two elements are not related then it is called anti chain. So this is the definition of chain and anti chain. There is one more point here that we're going to discuss later on. So first of all let us discuss what is chain and anti chain. Now here we do have a Hess diagram. Obviously it's a post set therefore uh, Hess diagram is possible. Here what is chain and what is anti chain? If I'll talk about B and C, suppose I'm considering a subset. Obviously, if I'll talk about a general set in which there are four elements A, B, C, D. So let me consider one subset, let's say AB. AB is one subset of this particular set. Now A and B are related. Therefore, it's a chain. I can add one more element here, A, B and D. Now see here, every element of this particular subset is related therefore it is called chain now if i'll take b comma c see here there are two elements in this particular set but they are not related you cannot compare b and c there is no connection between b and c therefore it's an anti chain now how many elements can be there in a subset there can be infinite number of elements obviously uh, from the first of all it has to be a subset and in that subset there can be um, n number of elements so here the criteria for chain is the num any two element if you select in a subset there should be a relation whether it is two whether it is three doesn't matter see here there are two elements they are related it's a chain there are three elements a b d if you pick any two elements they are related a b c here a d they are related but there should be a relation b c there is no relation if there is no relation then it is called anti chain now let us See with the help of this example so that it will be very clear. Here there is a set A and A is related to B if and only if this is not less than equal to. This is your general notation of post set. A is related to B if and only if A divides B. I am not drawing a Hess diagram here but it's understood. A divides B then it will be present in a set. Chain and anti chain. Now, there can be number of possibilities here. So let us write it down few chain which are possible. So let me write it down. Let's say one, two, four. And let's uh, let's say one, two, four. Now, please tell me, will it be a chain or not? Yes, it's a chain. Why? If you pick any two elements from this set, obviously, it, first of all, it has to be a subset. It is a subset of A. And if you pick any two elements, they are related. How? One divides two, one divides four, two divides four. So therefore you can say it's a chain 1, 2, 4, 12 again it's a chain you can say 4, 3, 6, 9 again it's a chain or you can add one more element again it's a chain pick any two elements and they are related therefore it's a chain now what are what will be the options in anti chain see here 2, 3, 4 if I'll pick any two elements in this particular subset they are not related 2 does not divide 3 3 neither divides 4 no no other no uh, no element divides each other therefore it's an example of anti chain you can add one more element here again this will be an anti chain you can have 3 4 and let's say 3 and 4 let's say this is again an example of anti chain now what if this is 2 3 4, 5 and 6. Now please tell me whether it is a chain or anti chain. If you consider this particular subset, here there are two elements 
which are set which are chain as well as anti chain see here if i'll pick these two elements 2 and 3 they set they will satisfy the criteria of anti chain if i'll pick 3 and 6 they will satisfy the criteria of chain that means it is a mixed chain and anti chain so in that case this sub uh, set is neither chain nor anti chain two elements are related as well as not related if you pick 2 and 3 they are not related if you pick 3 and 6 it they are related so related not related mix then it's neither a chain nor anti chain what is chain all the elements should be related any two elements should be related you pick random two elements it should be related what is anti chain pick any two elements they should not be relation here two elements relation two elements not relation it's no, neither chain nor anti chain let us discuss uh, one more thing how many elements are there in this chain one two three four therefore the length of the chain is four the length of the chain is four the length of the chain is three so this is what length of chain so this is this point let's talk about the last point if a comma less than equal to is called basically it's a poset this is the notation for poset is called totally order set or linearly order set or simple order set if it is chain now see here obviously we are talking about uh, with respect to divisibility now one divides two to if i'll draw his diagram of this so this will be simply like this one two four eight and twelve now here a comma less than equal to is called this is your totally ordered set or linearly ordered set or simple ordered set because see it's a chain the full set we are not talking about subset the full set is a chain why because the full set if you pick any two elements they are related any two let's say 2 8 let's say 4 12 so if the full set is a chain that means from the full set you pick any two elements they are related if the full set is a chain see here if a comma less than equal to is a chain then it is called linearly ordered set lean or totally ordered set or simple order set so this is a very simple concept of chain and anti-chain we're done with it hope you understood thank you for watching this video take care